What's up, guys? Um, so today I was trying to bumble around to get uh, Spotify into my Kodi install, and there really wasn't a lot of add-ons I thought that would be in a place like Fusion or Super Repo or something like that. But I did stumble across one that actually I've enjoyed using so far. Uh, it's called Spotty MC. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to install this. Um, you'll have to do it the old-fashioned way, kind of. Um, I'll leave the link below where to download it. Um, you'll have to save it to whatever device you're using and, and install it kind of the old way of doing things, I suppose. So to do that, all we got to do is go to System, Settings, and then Add-ons, and then Install from Zip File. You'll have to make note of where you saved it. Uh, on a Windows or Mac, it's probably going to be a little bit easier, but it might be a little more different on, on an Android, like a Fire TV or something. So hit Install from Zip File. I'm on a Mac right now, so I go to Home Folder, and then I want to find my Downloads folder. And in here, there's a script audio spotty MC beta 5.zip. That should be what you download. You just hit that, uh, and it should install. I've already installed it, but I'll hit it anyways and see what happens. So you'll get a notification saying it's enabled, and we can just back out. And then we just go to music add-ons and you should see it here. There really isn't anything you need to configure in the settings. Um, I'm not an expert by any means, but you probably want to make sure you have cache on. And that's really, I mean, you can change maybe the quality depending on your connection, um, but that's really all, all there is to it. Uh, the one thing about this that uh, you'll need, you'll actually need a Spotify premium account. It won't work with a free account, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know what deals are like right now, but I just signed up for a dollar and four cents for three months. So um, give it a shot. It's definitely worth it. I'll see if this just logs me in. Basically, what will happen is when you click Spotty MC, it will ask for your username and password. So you'll have to log in. If you don't have a premium account, you won't get to this screen. Um, the biggest problem I had was kind of playing around. I was trying to find some of the playlists I was I would play through my app, but I had to go in and and manually follow those uh, through the web player or or the app itself on my cell phone. Um, but as you can see, there's some of the new songs on Spotify here. Um, your playlists up there, you can search for certain songs and. And you can add you can add them to a playlist through here. So um, we just open this up. I think I'm not going to play it for too long because they'll probably get flagged. So you want to hit toggle star, and you'll see a star show up there now. So if you go into your playlist now, you'll see starred, and so there's one of the tracks, and there should be another one in here. I don't know where it is, but. You get the idea. It's it's just easier for me. I found to do do all the setup with your playlists, add your playlists and whatnot through the web player, and then and then come back. I mean, you can do it through here, but it's just so much easier the other way. Um, but that's basically it. it. It it actually works pretty good. I haven't found too many other add-ons that do as good of a job. So if if you know one, by all means, let me know in a comment below.